welcome to today's Tuesday tip. The next couple of tips will be on the new HUD protocol for chapter nine of your contract renewals. We will be presenting it with Natira Mickle, who's our lead specialist in the contract department. Natira? In March, HUD published an update to the Section 8 Renewal Policy Guide. This update only displayed changes to Chapter 9. The new guidance only affects the process and procedures for rent comparability studies. This change became effective May 1st. Things to know. HUD has issued a new minimum threshold. Instead of 140% of the HUD median gross rent, it is now 150% of the small area FMR. A HUD commission RCS will be needed if the RCS rents are above 150% of the small area fair market rents. HUD also gave us clarification of rent comp studies submitted for early termination renewal requests. If closing occurs more than 180 days after the package submission, a letter is required from the appraisers confirming that the current rents are not lower than the original RCS submission. If closing occurs more than 18 months after the original submission, a fully updated RCS may be submitted. HUD has also updated guidance for non-shelter services and amenities. Internet services such as project-wide Wi-Fi may be added as an amenity. Chapter 9 also clarifies updates for Chapter 9 and Chapter 15 capital repairs. Make sure that your requests detail information about these services, such as which facility may be used to provide services, a full analysis of the impact of services on the property's budget, who will be able to access the service, how they will be able to access the service, and how will they be made aware of the new service. Please note that if an owner fails to implement the services as described in the proposal, the rents may be reduced. When sending a new RCS, please make sure that you send the updated RCS owner's checklist and RCS owner's cover letter. These documents can be found in the appendix section of Chapter 9. The new Chapter 9 guidance went into effect May 1st. Therefore, all renewal and or rent adjustment packages received on or after May 1st must follow the new guidelines. Next week, We'll discuss the two alternative methods to an RCS. Join us then for another Tuesday tip.